Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I will be showing you how to make, use, and load the deatomizer pistol from Tech Gun. So as you can see here, here's a zombie soldier. And let me just shoot him twice. You'll pretty much be capable of two-shotting any mob. It's not, it may not be as good as some of the other guns here. There's one more really big gun here in this mod that I want to do a tutorial for, but today I am doing the deatomizer pistol. So the first thing you're going to want to craft is, oh here, let me just turn all off. There we go. Much better. The first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make the engineer's hammer from immersive engineering. You're going to need to use two iron ingots, one string, and two stick. Then you're going to want to take an engineer's hammer and an iron ingot and make an iron plate. Then you're going to want to make some copper wire with five copper nuggets. Copper comes from Galacticraft. It comes from Tech Guns. It comes from the Thermal series, like Thermal Dynamics, Thermal Expansion, Thermal Foundation. It comes from, like, those mods. Copper is very common in a lot of mods. In fact, if I were to just search copper, you'll find it in the Thermal series. It's even in... Um, what's it called again? Uh, engine, oh yeah, it's even in Mechanism. Oh yeah, it's even in Immersive Engineering. It's in a bunch of mods. So odds are you'll probably have a recipe to make copper wire with any of those mods I just mentioned. The next thing you're going to want to make is the circuit board from Tech Guns, which requires four copper wire, one iron plate, two uh, grass. I mean, no, not grass, I'm sorry. I mean to say green dye. Two redstone, it just made me think of grass for some reason. The next thing you're going to want to make is the survival generator from Extra Utilities 2. I call it Extra Utilities 2, but on the mod, uh, on Curse Forge, they, call, they just call it Extra Utilities. Everyone refers to it as Extra Utilities 2. I don't know why, but that's how it is. The next thing you're going to want to make is the stone compound gear. Which is from Ender IO and Ender Core. There we go. So that's what you're gonna want to make next. You're gonna want to get some grains of infinity, four iron ingots, and four iron bars to make the machine chasey. The third S is silent. I learned that from the advancement. So the next thing you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to pull out a flint and steel. I'm gonna make it daytime. Oh yeah, slash time set day. Here we go, slash, weather, clear, and I'm going to change the game difficulty to, no, no, not normal, I'm peaceful, there we go. Okay, so the next thing you're going to want to do, oh yeah, the wooden gear recipe, that's important, but for now we'll just make the grains of infinity. Alright, while the grains of infinity are cooking up here, you just need to be at bedrock level in survival mode and light bedrock up on fire. You're going to want to make the wooden gear from Ender IO. Or, you know, you can also make... Uh, here, let me look up uh, wooden gear. Wooden gear. You can also get it from Applied Energistics 2 here, which is where this thing is from. You're going to want to get... Oh, yeah, we got the grains of infinity now. Okay. So you're going to want to get uh, a wooden gear from any from Applied Energistics 2 or Ender IO and Ender Core. You're going to want to get three Certus Quartz Crystals, which you can get from mining in the ground. You're going to want to want three stone and two cobblestone. And you're going to want to use it to make the Quartz Grindstone. And you're going to make the Crank here. And because that's how you're going to make it, uh, that's how you're going to use it, that's how it's going to work, as you can see here. So the next thing, now that you know how to make the Grains of Infinity and the Simple Machine Chasey, that we can move on to the Simple Alloy Smelter here from Ender IO and Ender Core. You're going to want to get two furnaces, three iron ingots, two stone compound gears, and a bucket to make the Simple Alloy Smelter here. So the next thing we're going to want to do is make the mechanical parts here with four iron ingots and one flint to make the mechanical parts. And now moving on, we're going to want to get a mechanical part, two iron ingots, four copper wire and, uh, to make the electric engine, an electric engine, three glass bottles, four iron ingots, and a redstone to make the chemical laboratory. And then we're going to want to make 
some fused quartz with six glass, uh, let me see, yeah, you're just regular glass, okay, with six glass and a cauldron to make the omnivore. Now you make fused quartz, fused quartz, it's in here somewhere, here it is, Al alloy smelter, you take four quartz and put it in your alloy smelter, like so to make some fused quartz. I know there's other things we're going to be using this for. So that's why I have a bunch of stuff here. There we go, now we're gonna keep moving on. The next thing you're gonna wanna make is the wooden transport pipe from Buildcraft. And it's Buildcraft pipes. I just downloaded the mod Buildcraft from CurseForge and I got all these mods automatically. But, I, well, yeah, I did. At least that's how I remember it. But anyway, you're gonna wanna get two wooden planks and one glass to make the wooden transport pipe. I'll leave a link in the description for all the build craft mods. The next thing you're gonna wanna make is some pipe sealant, which is just a slime ball. And then you're gonna take the wooden transport pipe and a pipe sealant to make the wooden fluid pipe. There we go. The next thing you're gonna wanna make is the blast furnace from Tech Guns which requires four iron plates, one red, uh, one furnace, one redstone, two stone bricks, and an iron block. Then you're going to want to make some steel. Now the way you make steel is by taking some coal and iron and throwing them both into here and it'll turn into steel eventually. We'll check back up on that in a little bit. But, uh, but we do the same thing we did to make iron plates just with the steel and get but we'll move on to the metal press, which requires six iron ingots, one electric engine, one iron plate, and one redstone to make the metal press here. But now the next thing I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to go into the nether. I'm just going to bring... Um, yeah, the deatomizer pistol should be good enough. But the reason we're going to the nether now is to collect some... I forget what it's called now, but there's a very good reason why we're going here. It's some, it's a drop from a cyber demon. There we go. I did a separate tutorial on the... Oh, right, I'm in peaceful. There, back to game. Okay, there we go. Hello, Mr. Cyber Demon. Prepare to die. It's a drop from these guys here. We'll get it eventually. And... Come on. It's. I know you guys dropped this stuff. Here we go, cybernetic parts! I knew it, there we go, that's what we came here for. Cybernetic parts are very important for a little bit later on. As you can see here. <sighs> Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to toss all of that. I better just toss that in here and this and this. Okay, there we go. So that's how we make the cybernetic parts and by now... There we go, the steel ingots are done! There we go, the steel is now done. So the next thing, so now we can move on from this area and move on to over here. You're gonna wanna make the stone a compound gear and an electrical steel ingot. Now, if I am correct about my calculations, the electrical steel ingot, here we go. Electrical steel ingot from Ender.io and Endercore. We go to the alloy smelter, you need a silicon, I use the raw silicon from Galacticraft. You can get the silicon from Applied Energistics 2 and the Nether Quartz Dust by uh, smelting here. And you get the Nether Quartz Dust by getting the raw Nether Quartz Ore and grinding it in the Quartz Grindstone here. So just to go back a little bit here, that's how you get the silicon. There we go. There we go, it's pretty simple. You can use quartz powder from Ender IO. I don't know how you get that, but you can use another quartz dust from Applied Energistics 2, which you get by just throwing it here into the quartz grindstone like that. It's the simplest way to do it that I know of and that I would personally recommend to do that. So that's how you get the electrical steel ingots. You need three of them and a stone compound gear to get the Yetta wrench. That is very important for later. You will see very soon. So the next thing we're gonna want to make is some gold wire, which we go over here for. And we take out two gold. We go over here to the metal press. We do that. 
And it should be turning. Oh my goodness, there's a little animation for it. That's so cool. I never paid attention to it before. Anyway, and that, my friends, is how we get the gold wire. So we're going to go over here. We're going to combine the gold wire and the circuit board. Like that from Tech Guns. The gold wire is also from Tech Guns. And the lapis lazul from, or lapis lazuli, I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, it is lapis laz lazuli. Anyway, we're going to go over here and we're going to use that to make the elite circuit board. Because it is superior to all circuit boards. So now we're going to get two cybernetic parts and one mechanical parts carbon. Which I am pretty sure is made over here like this. We're going to go over here. No, wrong chest. It was this chest. And we use the lava bucket here, and we do it by simply right-clicking on the chemical laboratory here. Now it is full. We'll throw the lava in there, and we'll take a diamond and a blaze powder, and that is how we'll get some carbon. There we go. And now... I need to look up uh, mechanical parts carbon here because I kind of forgot about that. Mechanical parts carbon. Oh, you combine, combine a blaze rod with a carbon plate. You get a carbon plate by throwing the carbon fibers in here, as you can see here. And it will turn into the carbon plate. And now we take a blaze rod. I didn't put that in the chest, but blaze rod. Here you go. And I'll throw them both in here. There you go. Anyway, now that you know how to do that, we can move on to here to make the reaction chamber housing with four steel plates, uh, two cybernetic parts, and the chemical laboratory elite uh, circuit board, and the mechanical parts carbon, which should be done right about now. Nope, wrong thing. Ah, here we go. Mechanical parts, carbon. I better make sure to set it to daytime. There we go. That's a sign that this video's gone on for about 10 minutes. There we go. Mechan one mechanical part, carbon, four steel uh, plates, and two cybernetic parts, an elite circuit board, and an electrical engine. An electric engine to make the fabricator housing. There we go, and now you're going to need two elite circuit boards, two fused cores, and a fabricator housing to make the fabricator controller. You're going to need four fused quartz, four, uh, four fabricator housing to make the fabricator glass. We're going to go over here. Oh, I just had room for an extra recipe that I didn't need to do anything for. Okay, so now we're going to go into here. I remember it's somewhere in here the de atomizer de atomizer thank you very much and I remember we make the energy cell uh, ah yes plastic so what we do is we go all the way over here I know this setup is kind of annoying but here we go this is how we make any everything here we take the rubber we make the rubber by throwing in wood there and the wood is turned into rubber we take the rubber throw the rubber in here with the oil from buildcraft and that will turn into plat raw plastic and no wrong thing here there should be a furnace on its own somewhere around here here it is the furnace you throw the raw plastic in here and it should turn into a plastic sheet i know there we go come on i know you're a plastic sheet yep okay good that's that is how you make a plastic sheet here Okay, and we're going back here, and we do that plastic sheet. Three redstone, a copper wire, and a gold ingot. You throw that in the fabricator, and now we make the titanium. Oh, not quite yet. We, you already know how to make that part. The sonic emitter is the ti- Ah, okay, and that's a sign that it's time to move on. Oh, yeah, the coil is made with four copper wire and three iron ingots. And the titanium, we will move further along down this path here. So here's how you make the reaction chamber housing. Here's how you make the reaction chamber glass with three fused quartz, six fabricator, and six uh, reaction chamber housing. 
that's reaction chamber housing. I keep getting it confused. You're gonna need two elite circuit boards, one reaction chamber housing, and two fused quartz to make the reaction chamber controller. We're gonna go over here. Oh my goodness, what on earth are you? I better turn it to uh, peaceful mode here, and now I'm gonna click on the reaction chamber controller. Boom! That, my friends, is how you make a reaction chamber from Tech Guns. So the next thing we're going to want to make is a tin gear with four tin ingots. The tin can come from the thermal series. And there's a lot of different tin you can use here. There's from the thermal series, like uh, I already mentioned all the thermal mods. Here we go, tin. You can get it from forestry. You can get it from... Uh, huh. There, I thought there was a lot more. I thought there would have been a lot more tin, for some reason. Ah, you can get it from advanced rocket tree as well. There we go. All right, so there's quite a few ways to get tin. Then you need to make a tin gear. So the next thing we're gonna want to make is the machine frame from the thermal series, with four iron ingots, four glass, um, four white stained glass, one mechanical part carbon. You're gonna want to make a copper gear with four copper ingots and then the next thing you're going to want to make is the redstone reception coil which is two redstone and a gold ingot the next thing you're going to want to make is the magma crucible basic with two nether brick one machine frame one redstone reception coil two copper gear and one fused quartz and there you go so now the next thing we're going to need to make is the laser focus from tech guns here laser focus which is made in the reaction chamber with a diamond and the heat array focus which is four steel plates two elite circuit boards a gold wire and two redstone lamps it's that one is for mechanism there's a whole bunch of different steel plates i personally recommend using the steel plates from uh immersive engineering because i find them the easiest to make personally so over here is how we're going to make it. So here's the setup here. We have it powered with the survival generator and we have the wooden transport pipe going there. As you can see, this little area here, the base of the pipe is attached to this thing and not here. That's very important so it knows to flow. So the once you throw in the redstone here, the redstone melts thanks to the energy here and then it goes into here and becomes destabilized redstone and then it flows into here. So for example, if I were to uh, lower all of that and then raise it, it will gradually increase because the base of this thing is on here and that is the output. Both of the things here are orange which is a good thing, that's how we get it to flow from here into here and fill this up. That's how it works here and the reaction chamber is powered by the survival generator as well. So it gradually flows in there. So now we're going to plop in a diamond. Now it will be busy using up power. Oh wait, wrong settings. It needs to be at 3 and 40%. Oh. It has to be the exact correction. Oh. It says here, risk that it will break item. Okay, so that means the item won't be made. There's a risk of that. Every time you use the reaction chamber, there's always like a risk of something. Risk, small explosion, break item, break item, medium explosion, break item, uh, break item, uh, small explosion, break item. There's no large explosion. But anyway, you can use that, use it for, oh, it broke the item. Okay, that, if that came true, but if it works, it will create a laser focus here. Don't know why they did that. I personally find that kind of annoying, how there's a risk of the item breaking on you. But anyway, we'll move on to oh, being over here now. Now we're gonna go ahead and use this one. Ah, I see, I already had it set up, okay. The laser barrel is crafted with a bunch of electrum. Okay, a bunch six electrum ingots and two fused quartz 
and the laser focus. Now we get the Electrum from Immersive Engineering. And I have another setup over here, purely on how to get that. What you need is two sandstone, uh, two sandstone, two bricks to make a out uh, to make a kiln brick, and then you take a kiln like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Click like that, and boom, you've got it. So now what we're going to do is go over here, grab the charcoal, gold, and silver. Silver comes from immersive engineering. There we go, there's already two Electrum in here, throw it both in, and now it will be used and it will create a t uh, some Electrum ingots here, which is neat. There we go, okay, there we go, and that my friends is how you make Electrum ingots. There you go. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to make some biomass here. There we go. Oh yeah, I need to look up how to make yeah, a biomass. Uh, here we go. I can't believe I forgot all of this. It's been so long since I've done it, but at least I can do it. Oh. Uh, oh yeah, there's a space in between for tech guns. Yeah. So it is four, uh, four green dye and a slime ball. Four cactus green and a slime ball to make the biomass. So what we're going to do here... Is I think grab this and ah gunpowder ah yes yes I remembered there we go I'm so proud of myself I was able to remember this and that my friends is how we get creeper acid so now what I need to do is I need to grab an empty bucket go slash game mode s and I need to right click it to get the uh, to get the creeper acid bucket, I need the Yetta wrench, which I showed you how to craft earlier. We're gonna plop the creeper acid in here. We are going to do that. There we go, and now it will flow into the reaction chamber here. And that, my friends, is how you get it to work. I'm going to go ahead and change my game mode back to creative. There, there we go. There we go, and now I will look up the de-atomizer again. There. Should be pretty easy now. The sonic emitter is just... Ah, oh yeah, we get the titanium. Um, well, we refine the titanium in here like we saw before. It has to be 30% full of creeper acid. So here we go. Creeper acid. There we go. There we go, throw it in here. Oh yeah, you right click with the Yeta wrench onto the Omnivore. And now it will fill up slowly but surely. It won't take too, too long. And we're almost ready to say we've completed the deatomizer. We're almost there, we're almost at that point. Alrighty, and throw that in. Okay, now I need some titanium, raw titanium ore, which you mine with a diamond pickaxe. Uh, is there other titanium? Titanium. Yes, it's from advanced rocketry as well. Okay, that's some good news. Wait, how do you get it from advanced rocketry? I have no idea, but I do know how to get it from tech guns. There we go. There, whether well, clear. That's the reason I play with so many different mods. There we go. So this way I... Yeah. Ah! There we go. It gave you an iron ore and it gave you two titanium ore. And it gives you the wither effect. Don't know why. Oh yeah, and also what you do once you get the, the titanium ore is you smelt it in here. And that should give you some titanium ingots. As you can see very soon. And there we go, titanium ingot. And once we get the second one, I will throw it here into the metal press. There we go. Uh, oh yeah, it's cooking up in here. There we go. Now we're grabbing it, throwing it here into the metal press. There we go. And now it will turn into a titanium plate, which we can then use to make the sonic emitter with a titanium plate, mechanical parts, carbon, 
two Elite Circuit boards and one coil, and boom, you've got yourself the sonic emitter. The laser barrel, okay good, we've already been through that. The energy cell is one plastic sheet, redstone, copper wire, and a gold ingot. All right, now we need to charge it using the charging station, which is four steel plates, two coils, two gold wire, and a circuit board, which is powered by a survival generator here. So now what we'll do is we'll grab the uh, empty energy cell, energy cell, there we go, and we'll grab that, plop that in here. And now we'll charge up, and I highly recommend doing this so you can craft your deatomizer pistol and it will be fully charged. And we go over here, and two titanium plates. A, oh, uh, yeah, two titanium plates, and one energy cell, one mechanical parts carbon, and one laser barrel, and that matches up with this recipe perfectly. And there you go, everyone. That is how you create the deatomizer pistol here. And you load it just like any other gun and tech guns, same way. And now you know how to make another gun. Hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to subscribe if you enjoyed. And let me know in the comments if you think I could have done this tutorial better in some areas. But anyway, that's all for this video. Bye!